Hi guys, welcome back to my XPS guide. Now I'm gonna review Makina. Let's compare him with Nyx and Onion Knight because they are all a dual wielder. So if you take a look on Machina attack stats, okay, 201, it is lower than Nyx, but it is only one point difference, so it won't be matter. For attack passive boost, the lowest is Onion Knight. Makina get 170% which is quite good but lose to Nyx who can get 210% One thing to remember here is Nyx must awaken his passive in order to reach 210% But for Makina you don't need that and Makina doesn't need to equip specific weapon Okay, Actually if you want to get 110 70% then you need to equip sword because 170% are rich when you equip his trust master opposition so the opposition will give you 50% attack boost which is very good okay and 10% health that put his health at 40% it is lower than Nyx and Onion Knight but it's okay because he is an attacker so that's not that important okay so yeah for attack boost makina is good but remember you only have three slots left okay and as a dual wielder he is good because he has innate dual wield and the rest is kind of ordinary okay five percent and pyrigen for ailment resist he has poison blind and disease resist blind is good because he's a physical attacker so you don't want to get blinded but after that he kind of lack for ailments resist department okay because yeah you want to have paralyzed petrify and confused and he doesn't have that he also has evil magic plus 20 percent i don't think that's useful because yeah maybe if you need emergency finisher then you can use him to summon but really only 20% more damage that probably won't matter that much and yes he learns 100% Fastral LB fee rate and that is really really good because his LB is one of his strongest points so this 100% Fastral LB fee rate is really really useful if you use Mokina especially as a breaker on 7 stars he learns um, another 5% MP regen so he gets 10% MP regen per turn which is quite good and like other dual wielder he gets 40% true dual wield okay so it is very high if I'm not mistaken it is same like Nyx or Onion like okay I forgot which which character that get 30% true dual wield but yeah Machina is better Okay, because of 40% is the highest if I'm not mistaken and yes for his trust ability crystals chosen one okay so this is mm, good but maybe not necessary okay because yeah 5% MP uh, not me MP okay 5% physical and magic mitigation hardly matters and 110% attack boost is useful if you want to one shot the trial or let's say you fight a battle like raid bosses okay where you want to do offensive thing as soon as possible so you don't need to bring a buffer so that's quite good but for let's say hard battle like trial you probably don't need this okay so in the end you may want you can I mean you can leave his trust master ability alone okay if you have better abilities ability to equip okay so i think that's all you need to know about his stats okay let's take a look on his abilities so in my opinion his strongest point okay on this game right now is his breaking abilities so he able to break attack magic and defense spirit both stats he can break up to 70% and yes that's pretty insane for defense and spirit break that mean it will more than doubling your damage output so that's insane 
for attack and magic break 70% mean I'm not sure okay maybe the enemies that you only take about 10% from the normal damage or something like that okay basically this 70% is insane because you can simply spam this on every turn okay and yes if you if you think that what I only use Makina as a breaker no okay because the 55% break lasts for three turns three turns is the usual duration of your other characters break so yeah even even the three turns break are better than usual break okay because the average number of breaks right now is 45% so 55% are still very high in my opinion and yes 45% for Makina lasts for 5 turns so really really good breaker simply use this and when the enemy gonna use threshold attack then simply refresh using stunning slash but for most occasion I believe the 55% or even 45% break is enough that's what makes him really deadly other than that Makina also has two mitigation abilities okay the first is Guardian Blade, so this mitigate physical damage by 20%. It is not high, but remember that this physical or magical damage mitigation can be combined with general damage mitigation. So really, really good. Makina is good at breaking and give this kind of buff to your party. That means, yeah, I believe your tank can survive pretty well if you have Machina on your party. Also for the Guardian Blades, he can counter the enemy attack that hits other characters okay he is not a tank so if you have a tanker on your party then Makina will counter if the tanker got attacked so that's pretty good okay because the damage is three times yes I know it only happened twice per turn but that means six times damage which is quite nice especially against the 10 man battles bosses where you want to mm, to pass the threshold attack okay and for the magic mitigation i don't think the side effect is that good okay it is only spirit break resist which is kind of niche i think element agar is really good skill but for now i said that right now makina is best used as a breaker because yes i know element agar is really good chaining skill but right now the only character that able to chain with this element agar is draku last well so you need to wait in the future to have someone to chain with makina at that time makina's value will become better okay because right now he cannot chain with anyone so element agar is one of the absolute mirror of equity chaining family so in the future uh, CG Regen 7 stars form and CG last well able to chain with this element agar okay same for Akstar so you just need to wait until you able to use Makina as a chainer in this game okay for now if you have Dracula as well good luck but if not it's okay because you can still use him as a breaker also this element agar in peril three elemental resist okay fire ice and lightning by 60 percent so it is 10 percent higher than average number but still it is very very good because yeah your usual chainers only in peril about 50 percent but for makina to imperil three elements at once that gives him another role okay very good for his cooldown ability like other mm, final fantasy type 0 character he able to summon Eidolon okay this is good if you have someone on your party that able to cast re-raise okay another positive thing for bringing Makina because yeah you there sometimes there there are a, there are trials which need you to summon Asper so by having this summon Eidolon cooldown ability it will make the battle much much faster okay next his another cooldown ability is awakening this restore 100% health I don't think that's useful okay because yeah I believe you have healer he also has health draining attack 
So this restore health is not that good in my opinion, but maybe the best thing is increase attack by 200% and yes, that's insane. 200% is big and the downside is it will break your defense by 30%, but 30% is I don't think that will matter because he is not a tanker or a provoker. And yeah, maybe the best, not the best, okay, maybe the strange part is the Rust Blade Unlock. Rust Blade is very strong skill, okay, it deals 10 times damage because he is a dual wielder, that means 20 times damage, but the problem is this attack doesn't have any chaining partner, okay? So yeah, maybe if you have dupe, dupe Machina, dupe 7 star Machina, then you can chain this, but normally mm, it is bad, not bad, okay? Because I said this bad because it may break your chain, not because the damage is bad, okay? 10 times is high. Next is Dark Side. Dark Side is really good ability, okay? Maybe on normal battle, it is just ordinary AoE attack, but for the PvP battle, this is really really good because it has a chance to confuse. So this is very good for confuse, so the enemy's physical attacker, physical attacker gonna hit each other. And the best part is stop chance. 20% may be low, but remember he is a dual wielder, so he will use this twice, okay? This ability make him a good character for PvP especially on this week where he gives you 100% bonus for his LB it is really 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 good LB okay why the first thing is because it breaks 79% yes that's insane okay 79% and the damage may be not that important okay because it deals 14 times damage and because you have dual wield that, that means your Rush Blade deal more damage than this one. So basically you only use this for the breaking capabilities. So using this LB will allow you to use your other skills. Okay, so you are not locked on your Stunning Slash to maintain the 70% break. Using this is really free, free you, okay? Because yeah, it lasts for three turns and remember, this LB only need 24 LB crystals and yes, he has 100% faster LB fear rate. So you can, I believe you can almost always spam this every three turns, especially later if you have gotten the absolute mirror of equity chainer. So you can use Makina and your partner to chain. I believe after three turns, you will feel this LB gauge, okay? So pretty, pretty good. I think that's all you need to know about Machina abilities. Now let's talk about equipment. So for equipment, you want to equip Sword because he's a position, okay? After all, there are not many toys he can equip. Only Dagger, Sword, Great Sword, and Katana. So I think uh, Sword and Great Sword are his best choice. But let's say you have a Dagger which has a rare ability, okay, 100% faster LB free rate, then you probably want to equip that dagger because if you use him as a breaker, you want to have him, you want to use his LB as frequently as possible. So 100% faster LB free rate from your dagger will help you to achieve that. Okay, so very good. but. If you don't need that, then basically Omega Weapon and Ultima Weapon are the best weapon for him. Okay, for head, simply search for attack stats, okay? You can use Scanning Goggles if you have it, or Priest Hairpin, or even Bombarder's Big Horn. For body, I think the best is, of course, Heal Clothes, because it gives you high attack boost and because he also able to equip Great Sword, he can take advantage from the 30% attack boost, okay? For accessories, of course, as a dual wielder, you want to equip Colorful Lay. But yeah, that's kind of hard to get, maybe? Okay, and for abilities, like I said, 
you probably don't need to equip his opposition because the trust ability is kind of lame in my opinion but one thing that i recommend you to equip is heroes for dark this is very good because it can gives you 60 percent attack boost but the best part is the 50 percent faster lbv rate which will allow you to use your lb more frequently so pretty good okay if you have let's say rare dagger with rare ability and this heroes for dark that means you have 250% faster LB rep and yes that's really insane and yeah using his LB is really really easy so in the end my conclusion for Makina so yes like I said he is really good breaker for when you meet the single enemy okay so because that 70% is really really amazing especially his LB 79% you will take very little damage if you're able to break the enemy's attack and magic. And yes, another his strong point is he can chain with future characters. So I have said that CG Laswell, CG Akstar, CG CG Regen, yeah, Regen. But I'm not sure when CG Dead and CG Laswell Seven Star form gonna be available. My prediction is maybe on December, okay? because yeah maybe they kind of make yeah um, new year celebration with all with all cg characters on their seven star form maybe okay just maybe i'm not sure for trust master it is nice if you are a sword users so like on your knife but make sure you equip cloth okay because there are many options for sword user you can use chosen one but that's if you equip light armor you can use a dark knight soul but that's only if you equip heavy armor so yeah really depends on the character but overall this trust master is quite good okay for super trust master it is also good but maybe not that good mediocre i guess for super trust master class don't get me wrong the attack is good but i think the dual wield effect is kind of wasted why you say wasted because most seven stars dual wielder already have innate dual wield by themselves okay if they don't have dual wield they usually have a double hand so basically this super trust master reward dual wield effect probably only good for four stars base characters but if you're able to use i mean if you're able to get this super trust master then i don't think you are gonna be bothered using uh four stars base characters okay his only weakness is probably yes he is kind of clunky against lots of enemies so if you fight multiple enemies on one battle then he kind of he kind of yeah weak i guess okay because his break only lasts for his best break only lasts for one turn so you need to rotate that that's yeah too much problem i guess so in the end i can give him maybe yeah nine if you have absolute tranquility i mean absolute mirror of equity chaining partner later but let's say if you meet the enemy single strong enemy and you can break their attack and magic then he's definitely 10 for me okay very good single breaker and attacker slot efficient okay so yep i think that's all you need to know about machina thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy brave xps guide bye bye guys